So I get up this morning and I see all this shit on YouTube about how Bill Burr roasted woke culture at the Grammys and how he's like a racist now apparently. I mean, everyone was talking about it. There was the quartering and there was some like other people and then the quartering again. And I'm sure there are a few other people as well. And so I thought, wow, this is going to be spicy. Bill Burr must have taken down the woke people fucking hard. I gotta see this. So I looked at this video featuring all of Bill Burr's contributions at the Grammys. And, uh, fucking crickets. Tame as fuck. Here's Bill. Bill Burr. Because <laughs> <laughs> his name's Bill Burr. And you go Burr when you're cold. <laughs> that was a funny joke. But anyway, before we get into the very, very tame thing that Bill Burr said that apparently makes him a racist, I gotta mention, this event was very fucking sad. Like, there was no audience there because of, you know, COVID, and so there was no applause or anything, and you know that thing that Bill Burr does? Like, he makes a joke, and the audience usually cracks the fuck up, and he sort of goes, <laughs> Even your boy here, the guy, he recently died. What was his name? He was, uh, he was always sitting down. Stephen Hawkins, yeah. Too good to fucking stand up and make his point just sitting down all fucking smarmy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he sort of did that naturally, because that's what he does, but there was sort of no one to laugh along with, which was just a bit bizarre. Was I the only one who wanted to kill himself during that piano solo? Uh, <laughs> I bought a suit for this. I thought I was going to be on TV. I'm such a moron. I am losing so much money right now. All right. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not giving Bill shit here. I listen to his podcast a fair bit, and he does the same thing without a roaring audience in that setting. But you're aware that the setting is him by himself in his home office and not on a big stage like at the Grammys. But the other thing was that because there was no one there, all the people that sort of were nominated and won Grammys were call-ins. They all Skyped in, and a shitload of the people he awarded Grammys to didn't even fucking phone in. He had to accept the award on their behalf. Can you imagine that? You're nominated for a fucking Grammy and you can't be fucked Skyping in. You can't be fucked making an internet call. That's how far the Grammys have fallen. Fucking pathetic. Anyway, here's the super duper controversial thing that Bill Burr said. For best tropical Latin album. All right. Hey, how many uh, feminists are like going nuts? So how, why is this cis white male doing all this Latino stuff? Uh, and the Grammy goes to Grupo Niche. Hey, Niche. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. He made a quip about stupid feminists being uppity about a cis white male announcing the Tropical Latin Grammy Award. And he pronounced the winner Grupo Niche instead of Grupo Niche. That's it. Now, shall we have a squeeze at some of the reasonable and measured feedback he received on Twitter for these transgressions? We shall. Go fuck yourself. White men deserve nothing. Shut the fuck up and get off stage. Racist piece of shit. Get off the stage, white man. Oh my God, Bill Burr, huge fan. Get the fuck off stage right now, you stupid cis white racist piece of shit. Sincerely, an angry feminist. Ugly ass white man. Bill Burr is the perfect example of why white men deserve to be kept in cages. Praying Bill Burr loses his entire career, but he white, so I doubt that will happen. Hey, motherfucker, yeah, you fucking racist. Keep one eye open at all times. Fuck him right in his bald white face. He's an asshole misogynist and an ableist dickweed. Wow, they seem like measured responses, don't they? But the best part was when it was pointed out that Bill Burr is actually married to a lovely black woman, but that doesn't mean shit to the wokerati. A lot of white supremacists are married or dating black people. This doesn't prove shit. Believe it or not, you can have a black wife or husband and still be racist. So having a black spouse means you can't be racist now? Absolutely idiotic. You guys are dumb. You can still be racist while dating a person of color. Shut the fuck up, white people. Having black partners does not automatically absolve them of being racist. Stop using this fake ass narrative. Having sex with a black woman does not negate a man from being racist. By your logic, plantation owners who raped their slaves were not racist. P.S. Who is Bill Burr? Oh, isn't that just fucking lovely? But here is the best one. This is the best one by far. 
Claiborne Griffin says, While I'm not suggesting Bill Burr is a racist, a white man having a non-white wife can sometimes be a sign of racism. So you shouldn't assume that someone isn't racist just because they own a minority sex servant. <laughs> Fucking hell. They may very well have one because they're racist. I mean, good God. I personally don't like to throw this term around too much, but that is fucking racist. That is so fucking racist. A minority sex servant. He's talking about his wife. His wife that he has a daughter with. For fuck's sake, Clayburn. You're a fucking racist. So anyway, Clayburn gets Birkin ratioed, right? You've got Barry Malone here saying, my man, I'm pretty sure you're the racist, which he is. And Claiborne responds with, nah, it's taken out of context and being spread by the alt-right in order to obfuscate the original point and paint a narrative that critical race theory is racist. Bro, we all read what you wrote. There's no getting out of this. That was racist as fuck. And so anyway, Nia, Bill Burr's lovely wife, responds directly to this turkey with, Bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> to which Claiborne Griffin responds, As I mentioned, I'm not referring to you or Bill. I don't know you two. Oh. Oh. You mentioned Bill Burr by name, you stupid motherfucker, in a conversation about Bill Burr being racist. And look at the ratio. 40 likes, 268,000 likes. 40 likes, 268,000 likes. And one of my favourite responses to this motherfucker was from Rodrigo Cancun. I, I hope I pronounced that right. Otherwise, I'm racist, apparently. <laughs> I mean, it just explains itself. <laughs> anyway, this video was, is, sponsored by Virtual Shield. So here's a little bit about Virtual Shield. The data of 2.3 million people has been leaked after a hacker managed to find a backdoor into the popular dating site Meet Mindful. The leaked personal data includes names, Facebook IDs, emails, birth dates, location data and more. It was then uploaded to a public hacking forum for anyone to download. Meet Mindful says they've patched the floor, but the damage has already been done. It's incidents like this that highlight the importance of good internet security. And step one of good internet security is a good VPN. Virtual is the only VPN I'll ever use because they have a strict no-log policy and their software has been built from the ground up for privacy protection. Go to hidewithbear.com or use the link below to get 50% off Virtual Shield VPN. You can try it free for 30 days so you've got nothing to lose. Anyway, thanks for watching. Long live Bill Burr. Fuck these anti-racist, racist fucks and I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Recession.